Welcome to Buddha. Buddha stands for the Bukit Nun Davao Road. It cuts through widespread mountains that are enjoyed as a backdrop for a stunning ocean of clouds. Buddha stretches 87 miles and connects Davao City to Bukit Nun. Along this road, one hour from Davao, you will find Barangay Baganihan. I had the privilege to enter Barangay Baganihan and meet the indigenous people who live there. Indigenous means originating or native. It means people who are inhabiting a land from the earliest times before the arrival of colonists. In this video, you will be meeting the Matigsalug tribe and see their culture through their music, attire, food, and more. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, very lucky. <laughs> they believe far away. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So they're here because? My friend, the one with the blue shirt, the wife is also a native, oh. but a professional one. They invited them. So you get to see the original dances. When they dance, they talk to the sun, they oh. talk to the moon, to nature. They get their energies from uh -huh. nature. In your culture? Yeah. This is really the original one. What's your name? Ruby. Ruby. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Jainal, no? I yeah. And his wife, Jenitel. Dato, Victor. Dato. Dato. Si Jubert. Magimu sila ang sayaw nga ng cultural dancing. Kung makita ninyo sa ilahang sayaw, ako pong isulti sa inyo. Unsay kahulugan sa ilang sayaw. Do you interpret to us the meaning of the moves of the dance? Sayaw po, sayaw. The dance is about the kulasis, it's a kind of bird. They're asking the gods for more and more children, more birds to come. Cover how they cook inside the bamboo. When they cook rice inside the bamboo, it will not spoil for a week. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's no refrigerators. Yeah. yeah. They need to use the bamboo so to preserve the cooked rice. Before the bamboo is put on the fire, rolled leaves are inserted at the ends and the bamboo rice cooker is complete. Trabaho karon sa katong isulod na naog kawayan. Isulti na po sa inyo ha nga mao ni ang tinulungan sa matik salog sa ing anak nga pagluto. The kind of cooking that they're going to do, it's what they call tinalumbo. They replace inside the bamboo chicken, rice, bugas, water. Length of time of cooking will depend on the, the heat. Garlic, onions, pepper. The only difference is it's cooked inside the bamboo. Tinalumbo, asin, tapos. He said that in the past, his grandfather will cook it only with salt and with grass. That's it. For the tinalumbo meal, native Filipino chickens were used. Native Filipino chicken is much leaner than chicken from the U.S. This is my first time witnessing the process of cooking with bamboo. I felt so lucky to have the opportunity to take a peek into the Metixalog tribe's food and cooking culture. The chicken and vegetables were stuffed into the bamboo, water was added, and then they were ready to join the rice on the fire. This experience really put into perspective how much I take for granted, but those are lessons that I took with me after I left the tribe. Can you tell us about the tribe here? The tribe here is the Matig Salog. They are preserved their culture, like how to cook from old tradition. They will make bamboo into bracelet like here. How long have people lived here? They are the origin people here. They are called indigenous people. Nature are part of their religion, mm -hmm. their life. They are the origin here, yeah. original people. That's amazing. Yes, sir. people here, they are happy to live a simple life. Have you ever tried native Filipino chicken broth cooked in a bamboo stick by a native Filipino? Luckily, I had the opportunity to try just that. Bamboo. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's good. How is it, Tito? Very, very good. Not too salty, but it has a lot of chicken taste. Not too salty. Yeah, not too salty. Look, the good side about this, what? you'll be strong as a bamboo. <laughs>
Reflecting on this experience, something that Tita Lengai said kept echoing inside of my head. She told me how these people are truly a look into my heritage and where I come from ancestrally. More than anything, I think the biggest lesson I learned from this adventure was a sense of identity. I've struggled with figuring out who I am, where I come from, and what my purpose is. I think anyone can relate with those same struggles. The Matigsalug tribe helped me learn more about who I am and where I come from. As for my purpose, I believe that documenting these unique experiences and sharing high quality videos for anyone in the world to see on this channel is a pretty incredible purpose. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next adventure.